What up, YouTube? It's your girl, Pimp, back with another video, back with another Talk About It Tuesday. It has been so much going on. Man, it's, it's crazy. But before we get into it, please make sure you like, share, comment, thumbs us up, thumbs it down, whatever. You know, just make sure you subscribe to the channel for your girl. Trying to get to that million uh, but we're just going to jump right into it. So much going on. First of all, we're going to do the the sad stuff first. Uh, rest in peace to Colin Powell, who passed away. Um, he passed away. Well, I, he had like another, um, I think he had blood cancer and ended up getting uh, COVID, which um, his immune system couldn't keep up with it. You know, so he passed away. So rest in peace to him. Um, Colin Powell served this country, I want to say for either two tours and he served under four presidents. So, um, a black man of Jamaican descent. So rest in peace to him. Um, uh, it's just crazy. We ain't had as many deaths as we had in what, 2018, but we had a few. So rest in peace to him. Uh, what else is going on? Talk about Tuesday. So, right now, everybody's mad at some NBA players. Uh, one of them is Ben Simmons. He actually got kicked out of practice. You know, Doc wasn't having it. Wasn't like, no, this is in your contract, sir. And he clearly don't want to be there. You know, so, me personally, I'm all about if that's the choice you're going to make, you got to understand what the consequences are going to be. Whether I agree with them or not. Uh, same with Kyrie Irving. I feel like it's his right to choose not to get vaccinated. Uh, I agree when he said, you know, we've been playing, we've been doing stuff without a vaccination, been wearing our mask, social distancing, X, Y, and Z. But, you know how people try to use the move of you're going to lose money, lose your job. And once again, if that's the choice Kyrie makes, he has to live with that, you know, the consequences. Meg the Stallion doing her thing out here. She's definitely getting that money, getting that bag, and it keep growing and growing. And it's crazy because I always say the more people hate on you, the success, the more success that you you gain. And your girl got her own little hot sauce at Popeyes and shit. I'm definitely gonna probably do a review on it, so y'all already stay tuned for that. Uh, she even bought a Popeyes, which is definitely a smart move. A great investment. And she's also celebrating her anniversary with an uh, old dude. I really don't know him like that, but she looked happy, you know. I still think her and Money Bag Yo was the couple. That's just me. But, you know, she's out here. She's doing her thing. And salute to Meg. Uh, let's see. We got my, uh, my girl Carly B. You know, I love me some Carly B. Uh, she just celebrated her 30, no, 29th birthday. And I will say Offset did his thing uh, with the uh, gift, bought her some uh, rental property. And I'm just like, wow, you know, that's what you're supposed to do for your wife or your husband. So shout out to them. But your girl, Cardi, got some legal troubles, y'all. Now, from that little case she had in 2018, she just pled guilty to it. So it started back up. Um, she made enough coins to get, get a good lawyer, so we shall see how that play out. It's just, it's crazy, you know. Uh, your past can come back and definitely haunt you. So, hopefully she make that through. But, uh, yeah, Cardi. <laughs> what else? Um, it was so much going on. Oh, man. So, I don't know if y'all know who Sydney Starr is. I really didn't know who she was until recently when I started watching reruns of, like, the Bad Girls Club or whatever. And she's basically a transgender woman. I think that's how they do it. And her and his real name is Darius. But everybody know him as Eddie Winslow of um, Family Matters. So, apparently, they've been dating. And Darius, 
I'm not gonna say I'm surprised, but I really didn't think that you were gay. Um, or maybe Superhead turned you crazy. I I don't know, but that was kind of like a whoa. When did that happen? You know, at first I seen the article. They said, "Oh no, this is just my friend, this and that." But then I said, "No, no, no, dude is messing with a trans, which is fine. That's his preference." But it's just like, yeah, where that come from? You know, but more power to them. Uh, Courtney Kardashian, um, one of the Kardashians I actually can tolerate, <laughs> but now they, you know, um, she's marrying Travis Barker, and I think this would be like his third marriage. So I'm glad she got rid of Scott because I don't care what nobody say. Scott is. He's he's gonna be who he is. He's never gonna grow the fuck up. And speaking of Scott, he mad. He mad because he really thought he had a chance to get back with her. It's like, dude, she been told you like five years ago that shit is dead. That shit is dead, son. Like, she don't want you, sir. She do not want you. Let it go. Let it go, Scott. Let it go, huh, Travis? Travis gonna beat your ass. So you need to let it go. I don't think you could fight, sir. Uh, so just so much going on, just so much going on in this world. Um, what else I got for y'all? Mm. So, Bow Wow. <laughs> oh, Bow Wow. He he needs to stop acting like a sport brat. You grown as hell with kids, sir. Please stop. Uh, he mad about something with the tour. Talking about he the, he the reason why the tour is popping. You're not the headliner about well, first of all. The tour is popping because they want to see B2K. Uh, Mariana and them. That's what they want to see. I mean, they want to see you too, but they really came for them. And I understand, you know, Pretty Ricky, they got into it with him and Bow Wow. They got into it, and yeah, bad boy, yeah, you sell, you sold more than them, and all that stuff. We get it, but them niggas did their thing too. During the time, they was making music. Stop acting like a sport brat. Get on stage, do what you do, make the money, dude. If I got paid the money that you got paid to do fifteen minutes, I would do that. Don't get me wrong, I would definitely love my fans, so I'd probably be like, okay, I'm gonna do an extra five. Extra seven minutes, you know what I'm saying? But nigga, you want a whole 45 minutes? You don't get the B2K time. You get that when you're a headliner. And so now he's talking about he should do a tour with somebody else. Well, you know what, Bow Wow? Do your own tour. Do your own tour. That's the best way to show somebody. Do your own tour. And y'all can compare how I generated all that good stuff. But Bow Wow, come on, you too grown to be acting like a little ass kid, G. You're not a little ass kid no more. You need anger management, sir. Freaking anger management. Uh, what else going on? <sighs> Kanye has legally changed his name to Ye. Uh, and then his haircut. And then y'all buying these $90 hoodies that you can get from the gas station at any local Golo or Sicko for 10 bucks and paying $90 for it. Yeah. I will say he know how to get people to keep talking about him, which keep making him money, and y'all keep buying this stupid shit and holy clothes, and which is y'all business. I ain't gonna knock it. You, you do what you do, but I know most of y'all do not like what y'all be wearing from him. You just wearing it because it's popular, you know, because it's Kanye, which is fine, but yeah, don't lie and say you love it because I know you don't. I I, I know you don't. So that went down. Uh, I watched more of the middle to the end, and from what I saw, I I went with KRS. Well, I think Big Daddy came out of one, but KRS lyrically, man, he just does it for me. You know, he just he's so cold with the lyrics, and he he's definitely put to me one of the people that could be the definition of you know this whole hip hop rap stuff. So that was a good verses. I'm excited about having another versus. 
uh, come around. Man, I wish Tony Braxton and Mary J. Blige would just do one. I know Mary is being all bougie and shit, but I really wish they would do one. That would be so freaking epic. Like, people can say what they want. Tony has albums. Just like Mary has albums, Tony has albums. You know, it's basically... For me, they they had similar content. You know, you just had your hood, which would be Mary. And you had your girl that moved, used to live in the hood, but moved to the suburbs type of chick. But they 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 definitely parallel. Like, I'm, people sleep on Tony Braxton. Like, people know more Tony Braxton songs than they think they do. Real talk. And Tony definitely won Grammys. Tony definitely has sold probably over 100 million records as well. Like, yeah, Mary, get off, you know. Well, I ain't going to say get off your high horse. You always supposed to think highly of yourself. But come on, G. Do it, do it for the fans, y'all. Do it for the fans. Like, I think people think that the verses make them seem like they washed up. And I don't think that's the case at all. Like, man, do it. Like, these verses been... I've, I've been enjoying them. And another verses I want to see that they need to make happen before they steal our shit. They need to make this Britney and Christina Aguilera shit happen. They need to make the motherfucking NSYNC and Backstreet Boys shit happen. I'm pretty sure they will be fucking down. And I'm pretty sure it's more black people who know they, they songs than they think they do. You know some Backstreet um, Boy songs. You know some NSYNC songs. You definitely know some motherfucking Christina songs. And we definitely know some... Ba uh, I'm about to say, oh, baby, baby. <laughs> we definitely know some Britney Spears songs. Like, come on now. Come on, black folks. We be liking that music, too. So, I think those are the three verses that they need to make happen. Like, that would be... You think the ratings high now? Oh, my God. Them three... The ratings would be off the chain. The ratings would be off the chain. I'm just saying. So, I, I hope they make that happen. Uh, I definitely would like to see, and I don't care what nobody say, I think Chris Brown and Usher would definitely be a one of an epic uh, battle. So, let's talk about these motherfucking stores. Like, they are already on Christmas shit. Like, first of all, can we get through Halloween and Thanksgiving first? Can we get through that first? Walmart then put out their ads and shit already. You can't do layaway no more. You got to get on firm or clarma, whatever them things is. And pay about in 90 days or four payments, some shit like that. But I am glad they moved fast because they brought out the Canadian Dry Christmas flavors. This one is um blackberry ginger. And then I usually get the cranberry ginger ale. And then I usually get the, um, oh, they got a new ginger ale. I can't think of it right now. Oh, and so far. But they got raspberry, cranberry, blackberry. And this it's another one. I want to say peach for some reason. But they all five me. I love me some ginger ale. Mm. Oh, man. So, yeah. So, yeah, back, back to what I was saying, but I would love to see verses like that. So, with that said, I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thumbs it up, thumbs it down. We're trying to get to one million. Talk about it Tuesday. Um, next week, once again, got more videos coming for you. So, you make sure you check, check those out. Make sure you check out the past videos. Uh, got a couple of interviews set up. We had... Uh, I had the interviews that I did have. They had emergencies, so we rescheduled them. So those going to come soon. Heading to the gun range. Oh, I got a, I got a baby coming for y'all. Oh, my new boo coming, y'all. My new boo coming. I can't wait till y'all see it. Oh, my God. So, but anyway, like I said, make sure y'all subscribe. I'm out this piece. Have a good one. Talk about it Tuesday.